Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Maha and this week we are doing yet another week in my life studying for the LSAT. Now since we last spoke, I've been trying to hit at least two hours every single day, mostly logic games and logical reasoning, a little bit of reading comprehension, but mostly I'm trying to go through the, an entire timed logic game section with zero mistakes and try to get as many logical reasoning question types down as possible. I'm probably going to take a practice test this week. I'm not sure yet. I've really been enjoying the drilling and I think that's honestly probably one of the best ways to learn, but just to get a gauge of where I am in terms of my actual scoring, I'll probably take one this week, if not this week, at least once every week from here on out. Like I said, drilling is great. It really cuts out all of the administrative bullshit and allows me to just get the work done that needs to get done. So, loving the drilling, loving LSAT demon. So let's get started. I'll take you guys along and let's do some LSAT studying together. Exciting news. So I just completed a logic game that was a level four difficulty and I got five out of five, which is 100%. And I did this in 15 minutes, guys. The last three questions are all level five difficulty. And listen to this little tidbit of information. Uh, this was the one that made the internet blow up on the day of the official test. Everybody was shocked at how crazy and difficult this flowers game was. And like, I know it's a very silly thing to be, you know, proud of. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm just like really excited. I feel like I've been putting in a lot of time towards logic games. And then every time I do a really difficult one and I'm able to kind of think about it strategically and charge through it and get through it, I'm just so proud of myself. So just a little fun victory for the day. Hello everyone. It is Wednesday. I have decided to take a full length practice test today. I have about five sheets of paper, a pencil, this eraser, and an adorable cup of water. My laptop is charged. The door is locked. Hopefully there will be no disturbances and let's get started. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I have no idea how I will score today, but we will find out. Okay, here's a little check-in from the last time we spoke. I took my prep test on Wednesday and it didn't go as well as I hoped it would and I got a lower score than I was expecting. As a result, after my prep test on Wednesday and all throughout Thursday, I was just in a very bummed out mood. I didn't wanna get out of bed. I was really upset. I was really frustrated. So I took today to review why the test went the way it went and to kind of get back on track. At least for the logic games portion, one of the games in the section was unusually hard and I had never experienced any game like that and I had no experience with it. After watching a YouTube video on the LSAT demon about it, it seems like I was not the only one that was thrown off by this game. This game, there hasn't really been anything like it before or since. So I don't really think that this 
test test 77 was an indication of my skill level currently i think i can do better than that so i'm going to continue reviewing the reading comprehension and logical reasoning and seeing why i got the questions i got wrong wrong and keep moving that's that's all you can do one of the reasons why i was able to keep motivated today was because i spent time writing my personal statement for law school and I recommend that as a tip for anybody who is also struggling to brainstorm, to write, to rewrite, to revise, to reread your personal statement and see why is it that you're going to law school and what is driving you to get there. And I think that really puts into perspective your LSAT studying and why you need to keep working towards your goal. That's just my little tip there. Wanted to be extremely transparent with you guys. I know a lot of other people are struggling or having a little, little dips in their LSAT studying and that can be stressful. So you're not alone. I have those too. And we're gonna keep moving. All right, well, that's it for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate every one of you who stops by and also who comments. It makes me feel less alone and also more comforted. And it's just nice to know that there's other people out there that are going through the same process as me. So really appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys next time.